come over here, Daddy. Blessed is our God, who is now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, have mercy. For the peace and the love and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world and for the welfare of the holy churches of God and communion of all, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, have mercy. And for those who endure with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. The Metropolitan Teak, our Archbishop Benjamin, and the Honorable Priest of the Diaconate of Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this country, its president, its all civil authorities, and those serving the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Seasonable weather for abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, the danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Come, reach our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves, each other, and all our life, and through Christ our God. To thee, Lord. Unto the earth, to all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Blessed art thou, O oh Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord with vindication. 
and justice for the oppressed. He makes known his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord, his compassion is and merciful, long suffering and of great goodness. He will not always chide, nor will he keep his anger forever. <clears throat> The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, will you his angels, you mighty ones who do his word, hearkening to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, will of his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all of his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, who oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Blessed are the Lord. Again and again, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, and God, by thy grace. Oh, Lord, have mercy. The great and most holy, most fair, most blessed, and glorious lady, the mother, star, and ever virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life and to Christ our God. To thee, O oh Lord. Mine is the might, mine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have been. Put not your trust in princes and sons of men, in whom there is no salvation. When his breath departs, he returns to his earth. On that very day his plans perish. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, <clears throat> who keeps his faith forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free, the Lord opens the eyes of the blind, the Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord is the righteous. The Lord watches over the sojourners. He upholds the widow and the fatherless. But the way of the wicked he will bring to ruin. The Lord will reign forever. Thy God, O Zion, to all generations. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and immortal Word of God, who for our salvation is will to be incarnate of the Holy Theotokos and of the Virgin Mary, who without change did become man and was crucified. O Christ our God, trampling down death by death, who art one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, I'm Rachel, most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious, Lady Theotokos, ever virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Thou art a good God and lovest to mankind, to be to we send that glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages. Of ages. In thy kingdom, remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for this is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn. For they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit 
the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for this is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Wisdom, let us attend. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, O Son of God who rose from the dead. See you. 
And peace be unto all. And to your spirit. Wisdom. The Prochemonon is in the second tome. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The Lord has chastened me sorely, but he has not given me over to death. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Wisdom. The reading is from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Romans. Let us attend. Brethren, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into this grace, in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance and perseverance character and character hope now hope does not disappoint because the love of god has been poured out in our hearts by the holy spirit who was given to us for when we were still without strength in due time christ died for the ungodly for scarcely a righteous man will one die yet perhaps for a good man someone would even dare to die but God demonstrates his own love toward us and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, much more having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Peace be unto thee who reads. And to thy spirit. Wisdom. The alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. May the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob protect thee. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Save the King, O Lord, and hear us on the day we call. Alleluia. 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 This time, let us attend, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. Lead us from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee. Let us attend. The Lord said, The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is sound, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is evil, your whole body will be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in you is darkness, how great is the darkness. No one can serve two masters. He will either hate the one and love the other, or else he will be devoted to one and despise the other. 
You cannot serve both God and mammon. Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, wondering what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not your life more than food, and your body more than clothing? See the birds of the sky. They do not sow or reap or gather into barns. Your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of much more value than they? Which of you being anxious can add one moment to his lifespan? Why then are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They do not toil or spin. Yet I tell you that even Solomon in all his glory was not dressed like one of these. But if God clothes the grass of the field, which today exists and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, What will we eat? What will we drink? Or what will we wear? Is It is the Gentiles who seek after these things, and your heavenly fathers knows you need them all. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Glory to thee, Allah. Doing well, Nicholas. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in today's epistle reading, we heard that having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, and we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations. Knowing that tribulations produce perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. Now hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. We Orthodox Christians glory in tribulations, that is in trials, in the difficult circumstances of our life knowing that these produce patience, perseverance, and ultimately a hope that does not disappoint. In one way or another, I think it's fair to say that most of us are going through some difficult trials in our lives right now. I'd like to share with you today a story that I found helpful at many points in my Christian journey. In the sayings of the Desert Fathers, that collection of stories from the monks and nuns of Egypt and Palestine, primarily from the fourth and fifth centuries, we find the following story, not ascribed to anyone by name, but nonetheless recorded there. There was a brother who lived in a Cenobitic, that is, in a communal monastery. And there he was loved by five of the brothers, but one of them couldn't stand him. And because one of the brothers wasn't well disposed to hit toward him, he left the monastery and went to a different one. There in the new monastery, eight of the brothers loved him, but this time two hated him. So he left that monastery as well, and he entered a third, in which seven brothers were well disposed toward him, but this time five were not well disposed toward him. So what do you think he did? Well, that brother ran away from there as fast as he could. But it was some distance to the next monastery from there. And as he was approaching it, he got to reflecting. And he said to himself, If I keep listening to and obeying this thought that comes into my head, that is the thought to keep leaving every time things get rough, then sooner or later there's not going to be enough monasteries left in the universe for me. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a vow to patiently endure. And so he took out a piece of paper. And before he wrote, he began to ask himself some questions to reflect. He said, I've already left several monasteries, not being able to endure murmuring or rebukes. 
here in this new monastery, there will surely be more unpleasantness than in the others. He's gotten a little wiser now. Remember, he says to himself, remember all the reasons you previously left and know for certain you will find the same reasons here. Right? We can leave one place for another, but we bring all of our same problems with ourselves, don't we? We can't run away from ourselves. So you'll find all the same reasons here. Will I be patient? Will I endure? And so he got out, he got out a little piece of paper, you know, something small, maybe like this. So, and he wrote, and he wrote down on it. He wrote a little note to himself. He wrote, in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of God, I will endure. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of God, I will endure. And so he took that paper and he rolled it up. He rolled it up like so, and he put it into his belt. He put it into his belt and he entered the monastery. And after a short time, he heard the brothers murmuring against him. And what happened? He became bitter, but he remembered the note and he took it out and he unrolled it and he read, we should check to make sure it still says, says the same thing, right? He took it out, he unrolled it and he read, in the name of Jesus Christ, son of God, I will endure. And afterwards he reminded himself, you made a vow unto the Lord, ask him for help. And in this way, each time he received consolation. And every time he was troubled, he took out the note and he read it and he renewed his resolve. But the invisible enemy becoming upset at the patience of the brother placed curiosity into the minds of the other monks to know what was written on that note that the brother would read to calm himself down. And they began to whisper, right? Because you get to, th you get to thinking, surely he's up to something. You know, surely that's not something good. And they began to listen to that tempting thought. And the wisdom would say, that, this monk is in delusion. He's a wizard. He's reading some sort of spell to deliver himself from anger. And they finally got so worked up about it, right? And this happened. We just let, the, let, the, let those crazy thoughts just run wild. They got so worked up about it. They came to the abbot and said, we can't live with this brother anymore. He's a sorcerer. He carries a charm in his belt. And if you want to have him in the monastery, then let us all go and say. They basically said to the abbots, either him or us, you choose. Which, of course, I think would put the abbot in a very difficult position, don't you think? Now, the abbot was a spiritual man, it says. And knowing the humility of the brother, he understood what was said to him was said out of envy of the evil one, stirred up and stirred up by the evil one. So he therefore answered to the brothers, and listen to this. He says, go and pray, and I will also pray. And after three days, I will give you an answer. So he didn't just tell them off. He didn't tell them the first thing that came into his head, nor did he just believe them outright. But he said, let's all go and pray for three days, and we'll come back, and then I will give you my answer. And meanwhile, while, while the brother in question was sleeping, the abbot snuck in secretly, and he uh, loosened the belt, he, and he, he read the note. So the abbot had some advanced, uh, advanced knowledge about what was going to happen here. And he put it back in the belt so the brother who was sleeping never, ne never knew. But after three days, the, abbot called, the brothers came to the abbot and they came demanding of him, what are you going to do with this sorcerer in our midst? And the abbot replied, we'll call him here. And when he had come, the abbot asked him, now why have you been tempting the brothers? And he, the brother replied, what do you think? He replied, I have sinned, forgive me and pray for me. No self-justification, we see what humility he's learned, he's come to through this patient endurance. The abbot then turned to the brothers and asked, what kind of complaint have you brought against him? They answered, he's a wizard and in his belt is his sorcery. The abbot then turned to the brother and demanded, show me your witchcraft. The brother replied simply, I have sinned. Forgive me. At this, the abbot said, 
take his, from him his witchcraft. And the brother didn't want to show them the note, but they forced him, they grabbed hold of him, they loosened the belt and they took it from him. And the abbot gave the note to the deacon and he, and, he, and he commanded the deacon to read it out, to unroll it and to read it out in a loud voice in the hearing of all saying, may the devil be ashamed. And as the deacon read out the note, of course, what do you, what do you suppose he read? In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of God, I will endure. And all of the brothers were greatly ashamed at this. And they bowed to the ground before the abbot and said, we have sinned, forgive us. And the father abbot replied, why are you bowing down before me? Bow down before God and before this brother, at the feet of this brother. And they said to the brother, pray for us that God may forgive our sin. And that brother prayed to God, it says, for all the others. Now, brothers and sisters in Christ, we cannot control our external circumstances. And we know that, as our Lord told his disciples, in this world, we will have tribulations. And again, as St. Paul warned, all who desire to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. But we take courage, for Jesus has overcome the world. And through these trials, we find salvation and redemption. Let us also glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulations produce perseverance, and perseverance character, and character hope, a hope which does not disappoint. So how am I going to face the trials in my life right now? But this is one exam that is open book, and we can use our notes. I've got mine. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of God, I will endure. To him be glory, together with his Father, set from everlasting, his all holy good and life-giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Let us say with all our soul, oh, with all my mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. Lord Almighty, God, our Father, 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 we pray to heart and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Mercy on us, O oh God, according to thy great mercy, we pray to heart and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for a metropolitan seat on our Archbishop Benjamin, for priests, deacons, and all of the clergy, for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the have blessed ever number of the Lord's patriarchs, the blessed ever number of bounds of this holy church, the newly departed servants of God, Archpriest Paul, Archbishop Raphael, Deacon Gregory, Katrina, Dennis, Catherine, Radu, David. John, Carolyn, Vera, Doris, Von, Eugenia, Madad, Gary, Raida, Olga, Zoya, Michael, and Mark, and for all our fathers and brothers who part of this life before us, and here in all the world, I sleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, we see. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all those suffering from the coronavirus, Metropolitan Theodosius, Archbishop Basil, much of the Aida. Archbishop Nina, Archbishop Nina, Archbishop Michael, Archbishop David, Alice, St. Silla, Mission, Deacon Joseph, much of the Priscilla, much of the Susan, Joanne, Catherine, Linda, Erno, Sasia, Alexandra, Jean, Cheryl, Marie, Lysandra, Michaela, Joseph, Christiana, Curtis, Benny, Mary Lou, Anne, Autumn, Kent, Jennifer, Bruce, Olga, Elizabeth, Jamie, Gregory, Evelyn, Catherine, Bob, Lana, Amelia, Macrina, Elena, Dan, Matushka, Catherine, Child, Addie, Lily Bone, Child, Amelia, those with Child, Hannah, Catherine, Matushka, Jody, the catechumens of Mark, Aquila, and Jared, and for the brethren of this holy temple, for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for those who bring offerings to good works in this holy and honorable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Thou art a merciful God who lovest mankind, and to thee do we send up glory to the Father, yes. and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Let us, the faithful, pray to the catechumens that the Lord may have mercy on them. That he may teach them the word of truth. That he may reveal to them the gospel of righteousness. That he may unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Save them, have mercy on them, help them, and keep them, O oh God, by thy grace. Bow your heads into the Lord, the catechumens. Glory God, who dwells so high in regards to you, love us, and forth the salvation of the race of men, and only begotten Son of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, put down upon the servants of the catechumens that bow their necks before thee, and make them worthy in due time to labor a generation of remission of sins, the robe of corruption, unite them by the holy Catholic and apostolic church, and number them with thy chosen flock. That with us they also may glorify the honorable majestic name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto ages of ages. Let us love one another with one mind, we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence, and one divided. Doors the doors and wisdom, let us attend. I believe in one God, the Father, of all Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. And in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of the true God of true God. Begotten, not made of one essence, but the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became in man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified and spoke by the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And make us worthy, O Master, with boldness without condemnation, and may dare to call thee the heavenly God as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Mine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and is the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and forth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. I will bless the Lord at all times, his prayer shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord, that the afflicted hear and be glad. 
Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for those who fear him have no want. The rich shall suffer want in kinder, but let those who seek the Lord let no good be. I see the Lord be upon you through his grace and love for mankind, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, Christ our God, and our hope, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May he who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, by the might of the precious light, giving cross from the holy glories and all of apostles, who are fathers among the saints, the holy unmercenaries of Cyrus and John, the fathers among the saints, the venerable Sergius and Herman, uh, founders of the Vulam Monastery, of all the saints of, of Britain and Ireland, whose memories we keep this day. The holy righteous ancestor God Joachim, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. Peace be unto to the most blessed Deacon, Archbishop of Washington, Metropolitan of all America and Canada. He's ever the most reverend Benjamin, Archbishop of San Francisco and the West. The President of the United States of America and all those in authority, the clergy of the congregation of His Holy Temple, and all of the Lord's Christians, all the priests of the Lord, many years. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be. Well, brothers and sisters in Christ, I greet you uh, this beautiful Sunday morning. Of course, not, not under the circumstances we had anticipated last week, but not, none, nonetheless, um, here we are together in prayer, and we give thanks to God for that. Um, most of you, I hope, have received uh, the, the parish bulletin explaining why we're in this format, just to um, highlight a little bit more. And uh, as we knew we had this limited reopening, that there were, um, we were taking precautions, but there was also the, re the reality uh, that we're living with that someone could at least you know so, somewhere or another uh could, could come down with with the with the coronavirus and la last week um what happened was that two of the members of a family who were with us at liturgy uh began they did not have any symptoms at the time we followed all precautions but beginning on monday they did start to develop symptoms so that seems to imply that it was a very small chance they would have contracted it at, at this parish because it has about a five day or more um incubation period Nonetheless, um, they're still actually waiting the final test results. It seems very likely given the symptoms, but it's not a um, deal. So in circumstances like this with our guidelines, uh, the, the final call is from our archbishop who carries this heavy weight upon his shoulders. And he asks us at this time to refrain from in-person worship this weekend. Uh, we will find out more as we go ahead this week and it'll certainly be in communication. Nonetheless, what that means is that um, all of our, our current service schedule and events uh, will be planned for um, online format for my home uh for the for at least for this for this coming week as far as next weekend more information will be forthcoming um if, if anybody is is concerned about possible exposure if you think you might have any symptoms we definitely uh would, would urge you to get to get a, a test as well if you can either through a healthcare provider or in the email bulletin there's a link to where's the free testing site in sacramento um also as you please keep our catechumens our long-suffering catechumens, uh, Mark and Aquila, in your prayers, who've now twice had their baptism date uh, rescheduled. But a longer catechumen it never hurt anybody. And I, I hope that these, these, uh, this experience will be formational for them. But nonetheless, please keep them in your prayers as we look to, once again, uh, schedule it at a time that will be well-pleasing unto the Lord. Um, and then, as, as I said as well, 
there's there's a lot of temptations when these things happen uh, to take uh, what's going on in a negative in a negative way. And so I would really encourage us all to to take courage. We said instead of giving into these negative emotions of frustration or despair, uh, to turn our energy to more fervent prayer for one another, intensifying our own repentance and commending ourselves to the will of God. And as we see just more broadly within our country and why they were not, so unfortunately not, not out of the woods yet with the situation. So let us continue to pray fervently for everyone, for any, everyone who is ill and to, that, that this may pass and as well you know, to, to take reasonable precautions ourselves. A few others um, notes this week, if you could especially keep uh, Lou, Lou um, Mosner in your, in your prayers, Louis and Andrew's baptismal name on, on the prayer list, um, recently found out that he, he suffered um, some pretty serious uh, health issues with a uh, respiratory and circulatory collapse. Um, I'm not sure exactly what all that means medically, but he's, he's at home living with his daughter on hospice care uh, right now. And unfortunately, he's not in a, a place to be able to receive calls or visitors. So please keep uh, keep Lou, especially in your prayers, a dear member and friend of you know, a member of a parish and friend of many for 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 quite a few years, long long time. So, um, and he's he's 97 this year, by the way. Um, also, other notes: we still do. We have to call out for some time in the past. We still could certainly use some volunteers, younger folks, to help out keeping up with the grounds and others. Um, it's very easy to social distance on the church grounds. So if anybody would like to help. Uh, you know, get out there and do some mowing or, or weeding or you know, trimming and other other things just to take care of things. Please do contact Tony Dubovic. He's coordinating uh, right now. Um, so, so you're encouraged for, for that. Um, then on this, as I said, scheduled this week, well, today, actually, we will have, for those who would like to have some fellowship, we will have our virtual coffee hour at 11 o'clock. Um, so a little earlier than we have been, and we, we have liturgy. So we'll be at 11, 11 o'clock on Zoom. The link is in the, in the email bulletin. If you didn't get it, you can contact me. Um, also, we're having today church school, virtual church school from 1230 to, to around 110, you know, or one, you know, somewhere around there, maybe half an hour. So at 1230 will be the teen, just the teen class today um, on, on Zoom format. Uh, tomorrow, Saints Peter and Paul, we will just be having um, online broadcast from my home for the scripture readings and, and homily. Um, we'll have again win Wednesday class uh, from here as well, and and so on, and, and Thursday and Friday morning. So that's that's all we have for announcements, and let, let us just continue to stay close to one another and close to our Lord during this time. For many years this week, I have a, a a number of people today birthdays for for Alex Murray. Um, Gray's daughter, as you, if you know, uh, Gabrielle Wilson uh, as well. Tomorrow we have um, names days for quite a few. Uh, Brian Cedarberg, Jack Reed, Lee Parachi, or Paul's. Also Paul Melnikov and Vera Lyon back, back has a birthday. On, on Wednesday the 1st is uh, Gray and Willie's anniversary, Olga Balasio's birthday, Dina Marie Thompson's birthday, and, um, and, and Angie Ibrahimi's uh, na names day. On the second, we have uh, Stacy Kellogg's birthday and names day, Christy Bartnick's birthday, Matushka Joni's names day, um, Gideon John Haskins' names day, uh, Sumi Joanna's uh, Lineback's names day, and Megan Elizabeth Giesbrecht's birthday. On the third, Nathan Horn's birthday and Willie Patillo's birthday. And on the fourth, um, I have Jason Andrew Zopolos' names day and uh, Douglas Scott's names day. Um, so let, let us pray. And to Lord, apostles, life, peace, hell, salvation, visitation, all good things unto thy servants. Alexandra, Gabriella, Brian, Jack, Lee, Vera, Paul, uh, Gray, and Willie, Olga, Medina Marie, and, and, and Angelina, Stacy, Christy, Matushka, Joni, Gideon, John, Sibby, Joanna, Megan, Elizabeth, Nathan, um, Jason, Andrew, and Douglas, Andrew, and preserve them for many years. God grant them many years. God grant them many years. God grant them many, many, many years. God grant them many years. God grant them many years. God grant them many, many, many years. God grant them many. God grant 
God bless you all. Have a, have a wonderful day. And I'll see some of you on uh, or just a copy hour a little bit later. God bless you.